I can't believe we're about to say goodbye to the last legacy generation to child, Reno Navrada Volkov. They really do grow up fast. It was the day of reckoning for Riviera Retreat Volkov. She would finally be meeting face to face again with her first love, her first boyfriend, her soulmate, Zayden Kibo. It had been a very, very long time. And a lot had changed since the two of them had broken up. Like her woohooing his brother non-stop, Jasper was now a toddler. She quit her job as a marine biologist. She knew Zayden's birthday was recently and he had aged up to an adult. And, most importantly, she took the soulmate be gone potion so she can be with the father of her child, Dexter Kibo. And it was time to tell Zayden the truth about all of that today. She didn't know how he would react, but it meant that she could get the closure she needed and that she and Dexter can finally begin in their lives together in Sulani. She figured that Zayden would still be at work for a few more hours, so she spent her morning with Jasper out in the kiddie pool, taking advantage of the beautiful weather. Her baby was thriving, he really was. Republican Barbie was so proud of him, as well as herself for becoming such a good mother and for finally putting herself first instead of Zayden. He put her through hell, and despite all the love she once had for him, she was able to realize that they weren't right for each other and took action. Her teen age self would have never thought that was possible. But of course, she couldn't do any of it, the good parenting or the self-love, without her one true love, Dexter Kibo. Soon after, the kilo her kids left for school, Sage receiving a notification that his magical abilities were being noticed and he was being sent a magical care package. Seems like his sneaking out and incessant studying was paying off. Now with the kids gone, Regis and Kelly thought it would be the perfect time to walk on over to the Kibo apartment. It felt so eerie walking back to this place. This apartment where she made woohoo to Zayden, fought with him, pleaded for him to care, but she also woohooed with Dexter and fell head over heels for him. She waited for someone to emerge from one of the rooms, the first sim being her love Dexter. He told rest in peace that Zayden was taking a shower and should be out in a few minutes. Once he's out, they'll tell him and they won't be backing down. Zayden walked out of the bathroom and sat down on the couch just moments after, shocked to see that his ex and her baby were here. What the hell did she want? No, really. What the hell did she want? Because he was having a really good day until she walked in here. She has the nerve to walk back here and into his apartment after cheating on him and having another man's baby. If she wants him back or something, she should know that was definitely not happening. Soulmates or not, trust her. Ra 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 ra. I was definitely not interested in getting back with a scumbag like him. She was here because she had moved on from him, and she was being nice enough to offer him some relief for himself. A potion Shanna bought to get rid of any remaining romantic feelings he may have for her. Oh please. His feelings for her died the moment he saw that baby in the crib. He didn't need any potion. Her showing off her box to any man who was interested was enough for him. Recovering addict was originally going to be cordial, but now she just wanted to hurt him. Yes, she'll admit it. She was unfaithful to him several times, including at their baby shower, and on this couch, and on Zayden's bed, and regeneration was just dying to know. Did he ever bother thinking about who may have fathered Jasper? He followed the direction of rocking chair's eyes, then looked down at Jasper, and finally, directly at his brother. She was such a whore, and that's when Dexter had to jump in. Who does he think he is calling her that? Unfortunately for him, Zayden wasn't the least bit scared of his baby brother. He'd have to try a lot harder than that. That son of a bitch, his brother, his own goddamn brother. He felt like an idiot for not putting two on two together. That baby looks exactly like Dexter. How could he do that to him? And how could he go after a girl that was so easy? He must have really had low confidence, or really didn't give a damn about 
about himself? Dexter warned Zayden to stop talking about the mother of his child like that. Rabbit's foot was an exemplary woman. Okay, Dexter, let's not go crazy. She was remarkable in every way. Beautiful and caring and intelligent. Again, take it easy, Dexter. He treated her like absolute garbage when they were together. She told him everything. He witnessed it for himself. He should be fucking ashamed of himself. Someone had to love her properly. He clearly didn't know a thing about that, not to mention how he treated him growing up. Such a little boy. A ticking time bomb. They can deal with that later. But he needs to respect recipe for disaster, or else. Zayden found that comical. He can see for himself how scared he was of Dexter's empty threats. Did he just autonomously kick Rag to riches in the Samusi? Zayden put his hands on a woman. And that's what really set Dexter off. These punches weren't just for Ray of Sunshine, they were also for him, and for Shanna, and his poor little brother Voldemar, and all the shit Zayden put them through. Their mom and dad would be ashamed of what became of him, and when Dexter mentioned their father Akira, that's when Zayden's fiery rage emerged. He began to beat Dexter into a pulp. Right for race against time and Jasper and Voldemar to see. Shanna, I think you have way more important things to worry about than making another science baby with Autumn. Dexter was bleeding like crazy, but Zayden wasn't stopping. Once he finally did, he dared Dexter to try him again, he'll kill him, they both knew it. Dexter was so terribly injured that he passed out. And that's when Voldemar began to cry, had he just witnessed his brother get murdered. And after seeing the love of her life lying unconscious on the ground, and Zayden's ugly, smug face looking down at him like gum stuck on the bottom of his shoe, raising Kane's animalistic instincts were awakened. But right as she was about to run after Zayden, she noticed that he looked very unwell. Zayden Kibo just died from anger. He's really dead. And Rabble Rouser was over the moon about it. Like, really happy about it. She was giggling and laughing non-stop. And that's when it hit her. The soulmate be gone potion worked. She looked at Zayden's lifeless body and realized there was no love lost. She felt nothing. It was over. Finally over. Shit, sorry about that. Dexter and Voldemar, he was still your brother at the end of the day. Oh nitrogen monoxide, Jasper, why did you waddle your way in here? You weren't supposed to see this. Having two men physically fight over you, one of them dying, and traumatizing your kid in the process. Damn Renesme, you really are just like your mother, Alexis Volkov. Shanna got the call about what happened to her brother Zayden, every kilo her family member standing outside and waiting for Red Flag, Dexter, and Voldemar to come back. They were all so confused, so worried, especially when they saw the physical state of Dexter, how he was covered in cuts and bruises. Shanna, in particular, was the most worried about Voldemar, her teen brother that now had nowhere else to go. What on earth happened over there at the apartment? Reaching an impasse took Jasper inside for a bath, Autumn took Voldemar inside to make him some food, and Shanna sat with Dexter on the bench outside so he could tell her in detail. What happened? tonight. It took him a while to get there. Once Dexter was comfortable and the two of them were alone, he began telling Shanna everything, starting from the very beginning. How things escalated between Roaring Twenties and Zayden very fast. How he threw the first punch after Zayden called her a whore. How he had a heart attack. And he didn't know if he should be the one telling Shanna this, but... 
Zayden got physical with Rush Hour, he kicked her in the crotch, and that's the true reason why he started throwing punches at Zayden. Shanna was actually shocked about this. She knew Zayden had a bad temper and was a problem starter, but she never expected him to get physical with anybody. He'd never done anything like that before. She couldn't believe it, she was devastated, disgusted even. Even though Ruff Estimate cheated on him, she definitely didn't deserve that, nobody does. Shanna thanked Dexter for telling her that, though it was something she never wanted to hear. It cemented a decision she was contemplating in her mind. Jasper, why are you sleeping on the cold hard ground? I thought you were supposed to be getting a bath after that extremely eventful day she had. Ray's awareness was ready to spend some time with her baby, so she headed upstairs to their room and read him to sleep. She couldn't be any more grateful as she looked down at her precious boy. It was really happening, she really did it. She freed herself from the curse of loving Zayden Kibo. Watching him die was all the proof she needed. It was such an odd feeling feeling not loving him anymore, not feeling anything for him other than hatred and disgust, but it was a feeling she relished in. Sure, he didn't need to die tonight, but she wasn't exactly shedding tears over it either. She was okay with it, but she knew that Dexter wouldn't be. She was going to have a lot of work to do, tending to his wounds. She knew she was going to have to be there for him and comfort him over his brother, but she was happy to do so because she was so in love with him. And that's what you do for the sims you love. Not Sage coming into the room just to see how battered his uncle is. Despite Zayden's death, the night was pretty calm. Autumn tended to her plants like she always did. Voldemar tried not to cry, doing his best to dissociate and not think of the sight of his brother's lifeless corpse. Shanna did yoga in the gym, thinking about the task Eva Shrivastava assigned to her, wondering how she was going to complete that now. And once Shanna felt like the timing was right, she asked Redeem oneself to come with her to the treehouse so they can talk about something. It's not like she didn't believe her brother Dexter, but Shanna wanted to hear her sister-in-law's point of view about how things went down tonight, and to see if she'd bring up Zayden kicking her in the crotch. Remote Access's version of the story was identical to Dexter's. Everything matched up correctly, but to Shanna's surprise, she did not bring up the fact that Zayden kicked her. So Shanna brought it up, asking why she left that detail out. The reason why Raw with Laughter didn't feel the need to bring up Zayden kicking her was because she was no longer letting him rule over her life. She took the soulmate be gone potion for a reason. She was done with him truly and just wants to move on with her life, the one with Dexter in it. She was sorry that Shanna lost her brother tonight, but as for role model, she gained something. She gained her life back. Everything in her past revolved around Zayden. Now, she never has to worry about him again. The kick just proved what she always thought. He didn't care about her, at least she woke up and wasn't in his position. She definitely could have been if she hadn't fallen for Dexter. Shanna understood where she was coming from. She would miss her brother, but she didn't think she could ever get past him kicking her. She didn't raise him to be like that. Part of her wanted to bring him back to life just to kick his ass, but she assured running late that, no matter how much she wanted to, she would not be bringing Zayden back to life. If he was able to kick the woman he once loved, she could only imagine what he would do if he were brought back. So, it was settled. Zayden Kibo would not be revived from the dead. He was truly gone forever.